Hello again, everybody. I wanted to just check in because I want to just keep documenting what it's like to transition from quitting my job to starting a new whatever <laughs> in my life and leaving my apartment in a few weeks and even now, a few weeks ahead of when I'm going to be moving out, I don't have concrete plans about what I'm going to do or where I'm going to live. And I'm totally okay with that. And I just wanted to share how awesome it is to just let everything flow and not have to plan everything. Because if I had planned, okay, I can't give notice on my apartment until I find another place to live, I would be blocking everything that's wanting to open up for me. So for example, I went out to dinner with some friends of mine and I told them I'm giving notice on my apartment and I don't know where I'm going to live yet. And they said, yes, you do. You're coming to live with us. And I said, I am. And they said, yes, you're coming to live with us three months, six months, whatever you want. Save some money until you find the perfect place for you. I mean, did I like, like, no, that was going to come up? No. But if I had been planning, 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 I would have probably rented someplace that did not even thrill me, didn't light me up, didn't align with me. And instead, I have this amazing opportunity with these beautiful friends of mine to take my time and transition. And I can start my business. And that's the other thing that is unfolding for me. It's funny because I know that I have a passion for teaching, training, coaching other hygienists. I just love it, love it, love it. And I'm really good at it. I'm really good at teaching people how to connect on a heart level with other people, how to get people to like you instantly, how to build trust with other people first and foremost before any sales or any any other discussions, how to get people to trust you and how to build a true heartfelt relationship with people. Anyway, I just love, love, love to train that. But I don't exactly have the concrete picture of how it's going to look. All I know is I'm going to be doing that. And so I'm out with some other hygienists and talking to them about what I love doing. And one of them says, oh, yeah, you could do that for new hygienists coming out of school. And I'm like, exactly, that's what I could do. So it's so funny how... If you just put your energy out there and stay in that high vibration of, of excitement, then other people kind of start giving you ideas and other people kind of start leading you into what you could be doing. And something happened to me today too, where I was sharing something with somebody at a, at a uh, party and they said, oh, you shouldn't do that just in dentistry. You should do that where I work. And it's just, it's so amazing. So I feel like it works better not to make plans than it does to make plans. <laughs> and I totally trust that everything is, is going to work out perfectly. And you know what? Everybody has the permission to do that. It's just against the grain. It's just anti um, it's counterintuitive and it's against everything you've ever been taught, everything you've ever heard. And sometimes when I tell people what I'm doing, they want to come at me. Oh God, you can't just, you can't just go start training somewhere. You have to have a business plan. You have to have this and that. But people are coming up to me, asking me to let them know when I have my business cards done and when I have my PowerPoint presentation done so that they can use me. And I really just think that my excitement and my high excitement in it wants, makes people want to work with me. It's not about planning and strategies and marketing and all that stuff. And if it is, I'll learn it as I go. But first comes the excitement and first comes the passion and first comes letting go of what doesn't serve me 
so that I can make space for all that stuff to happen and so I can make space for all that creativity to happen. Um, Kyle C. said one time too, the other thing that's come up is that he said, if there's someone in your life that you have to do something about, then until you release that or until you deal with that situation or person, it blocks your creativity. And a funny thing happened is that I thought when I, when I released my job and now I'm releasing my apartment, so I'm moving into a, another new stage of my life, that that would be the last of the releasing that I need to do. But now it's shown that there was something underneath that still needs to be released. And I would not ever have seen that had I stayed in my job because that was almost like a mask or a distraction for me not to be able to see. So I thought that I had let go of something. And it turns out that, that, that there's more I need to do with that. And that's why I feel like I'm not tapping into my truth as deeply as I can and tapping into my voice. I mean, these videos are a huge step for me because two years ago, I didn't feel like I had a voice at all. And I have found my voice and there's just a little thread hanging on now of what I need to do for myself and the courage I need to have in myself to set a little more boundary and speak a little more of my truth so that I can just, boom, explode and really, really be in that alignment and in that energy and in that vibration that attracts the abundance that is already out there waiting for me. And I just know it's true. So, hey, everybody out there, I am all for following your gut and following your intuition and letting go of anything that feels heavy and making space for just what feels light. And it's so funny because now it's becoming second nature to not even have to think about, oh, does that feel heavy or that feel light? Okay, that feels heavy. Okay, I'm not going to do that. It doesn't even, at first I had to really think about it and picture where it was showing up in my body. And now it's becoming like second nature to me where it's just an automatic flow and it's so freaking beautiful. I just love it. So there was something else that I was going to say about that. But, oh, I was going to say that it, it, I'm not saying don't have any security like money or anything like that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that if I am worried about how much money I'm going to have and making myself safe and secure first, then that is blocking the, um, the abundance from coming to me. And what I'm saying is, if that's where I'm coming from, I'm coming from a sense of lack and I'm sending, I'm coming from a sense of not having, and that lowers my, my vibration. But if I am coming from a place of gratitude and appreciation and knowing that it's already out there, what happens is the money comes, the security comes. Like I just said, I'm quitting my job. I'm leaving my apartment. And my friends go, you're coming to live with us. No idea. No idea that was going to happen. But I stepped into my truth. And so people, people come towards you when you do that. And anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys because that is what's happening for me. And I am so thrilled that I am having the courage to do this and um, maybe hopefully give permission to other people to, to do it too if that's what calls you. So my website is called aheartbasedlife.com where I'm documenting all this stuff. And I would love for you to um, sign up for more emails and uh, videos. And I'm going to be writing an ebook um, about this stuff now that I am not working full time. And I've decided to keep working. I've decided to just work, accept jobs or decline jobs as they feel aligned with me so that I can have space to create this training around me and create the writing around me. And every, every morning when I wake up and I meditate, I'm just doing the next thing that my meditation tells me to do that feels exciting to me. And that's what I'm going to work on. So the ebook came to me. Definitely. I'm going to do that. So please sign up for my website at heartbasedlife.com and uh, sign up for these videos. And please share this with anyone you think it might serve. Anyone that feels like They've been diminished in their lives. They haven't had a voice. They felt small and they want to branch out and really 
step into who they really are, you are in here. You're always in here. And I'm so happy to share my journey with anyone that I can help. Thank you guys. Talk to you again soon. Bye.